Hi everyone, so I'm going to be doing a three-part book review on this book that I am currently reading called The Greatest Benefit to Mankind in Medical History of Humanity. Um, as you can see, it's quite a dense book, around 750 pages, and I've only had it about for about a week, and so I've read about the first like 250 pages, which is why I'm doing like a three-part review. And kind of there are like three parts of the book when it talks about the history of medicine. So yeah, a lot of you might be thinking, Lily, why would you read a book like that on the history of medicine? Isn't that boring? Um, I mean, parts of it, yeah, it is kind of dense, but at the same time, I'm kind of an avid reader, and I feel like I read so many fiction books, and that I want to immerse myself in something nonfiction, and I was like, why not do that with something I'm interested in? Like, medicine, that's what I want to pursue. So, I'm going to be highlighting, like, my three favorite parts of the first part of the book that I read. So obviously, I'm gonna start with the first thing. And the first thing was the emphasis on how public health, like how important public health is to in the progression of medicine. Like obviously medication is always gonna be there, doctors are gonna be there, but like we as a society, especially as a Western society, underestimate like how much public health affects how we deal with our personal health and like sickness and stuff like they control everything they control pharmacies doctors offices like hospital administration and all that type of stuff so i just think it's really important to be reminded that without like the public health and without the progression of public health we're not gonna have the progression of medicine plus public health is so important to like make changes in the medical field with especially now with like how high prices are for medicine and like health insurance and all that type of stuff it's just like so important when we look at the law aspect of medicine and the role it plays in like our society um the second thing i found really interesting and really important is like the approaches to healing and how if we want to heal f physically we also have to heal and be ready to heal mentally as well like how so many issues we have physically are affected by our like mental well-being. Like for example, they talk about how like you can have gut health problems can be exacerbated if you're having like anxiety or stress and stuff. And so, I don't know. I just thought that was really interesting how like our feelings are connected to our physical well-being. And I also talked about a study where they found that people who were like chronically ill when they had a positive attitude about their sickness and they like were happier and tried to better themselves mentally that they actually got better versus the people that had a negative attitude and negative mental health and mindset. I don't know, they talked about how it was just kind of like a placebo effect, but I still found that interesting. Like how our body responds to like happy and good vibes. <laughs> The third thing that I also found really interesting was the role that women play in medicine and how they have been playing a huge role in medicine and they don't even know it. Like how it talked about how like from the get-go, like women have just been so involved because oftentimes when like in the old, like way back when, when people were getting sick and like medicine wasn't as progressed or like, like there weren't as many doctors like the women of the household would always be the ones like taking care of everyone who was sick and kind of like how women have just like a natural role in medicine because they are have it has been ingrained to be empathetic and have good bedside manners and to just be like a caretaker but like that transitions so well to medicine because it talks about how in medicine, if you're a nurse, doctor, physician's assistant, nurse practitioner, like EMT, like you can't just like have the knowledge and smarts. You also have to be like good with people. You have to know how to take care of people. Like, yeah, you can know like what to administer and stuff, which is so important. But like you have to know how to act with people who aren't feeling well physically. So I just thought that was really interesting how they included a section about like women kind of being natural people in medicine because of their good bedside manners and kind of role of taking care of people 
since like the beginning of time yeah that is part one of my book review on this book it's very dense i wouldn't recommend reading it for fun unless you're kind of weird like me and you just want to learn more about medicine because that's what you're going to college for so but yeah if you're bored and you want to read a good book about medicine i recommend reading this book because it talks about all the different aspects of medicine that you just would never expect to play such big roles in the development of medicine and like the history of medicine especially the history of medicine in our western society so yeah Bye.